Give me all your money. Whoa. Oh. Hey, cool knife. Is that the React from 3B Gear? Yeah. Yes. I. I said, give me all your money. Wait. Are you Are you trying to rob me with it? Of course. Why are you trying to rob me when there's so many other cool things you could be doing with that knife? Wait. Like what? Well, try this on. You can cut yourself some rope, pitch in a tent. You can cut yourself some kindling. Maybe do some whittling with some wood. Oh. You can roll up on an axe cut an old lady out of her seatbelt, and rescue her. Man, you could even make some peanut butter and jelly for the kids. Oh. Cut up some sandwiches or spread some cheese on some crackers. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, those are those are pretty good ideas. Uh, so can I go? Can I? Can I just sneak by you? I, I think I think I'm gonna go rethink my life. What is going on everybody? Joshua here, back again with Reasonably Prepared. And before I jump into the video, just another friendly reminder to do me a favor, to like, hit those like buttons, comment, 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 comment below, uh, subscribe if you feel like we've earned it and you like what we do here, hit the little bell notification. That way, every time we come out with a video, you get notified and you can watch it and you can watch me and us be as silly as we are. And final reminder, not final, but just one more thing. Uh, just to let you know, we have merch. Prepared does not equal paranoid shirts. Reasonably prepared shirts, all that kind of stuff. I keep teasing that we're gonna come out with uh, with more, which we are, we've got, once again, designs in the works, but don't forget, we've got merch. Helps to support the channel and, uh, and everything we do here so we can better serve you because anything we make just goes back into gear and doing stuff with the channel. So. Blessings to all, just wanted to get that out of the way. What am I doing here today? Well, if you watched our uh, EDC video we did a while back, which is oddly enough a great performing video, you go check that out if you haven't. Uh, we went over all of the stuff we carry on us every day. Uh, and one of the things I carry on me every day is a pocket knife. It is the greatest tool ever known to man and I have carried all matter of knives, and I mean like Columbia River Knife and Tool, Gerber, Kershaw, Kershaw Ken Onions, Spider Co., some of the off brands, one or two of the boutique brands, you know, like handmade brands, things like that. And I've fallen in love with basically, I've, of all the knives over the many, 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 many years I've carried, and I'm talking almost 30 years of carrying around a pocket knife, I have settled on bench made knives. And, and, I've had the bench made knives because they're so durable, the edge retention is great, the, the Mel Purdue locking system is my favorite, but I'm thinking it might be time to move on again and see what else is out there because this knife right here, I have had in my pocket, I did the math, it was 18 years I've been carrying this one knife. The mini Griptilian with this blade design, this lime green, uh, because I like loud knives. I like loud knives because I don't like losing them in the woods. We spent a lot of time in the woods. Uh, even after 18 years, this thing was still performing well, but it's time to move on. Time to move on because the clip isn't really staying clipped anymore, kept falling out of my pocket. Um, it's starting to stick and get sticky and I'm having a hard time keeping it clean. So I figured it was time to move on. So what I did was I went and bought this knife. This is the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. I'm not happy with this knife. I am disappointed with this Benchmade. Uh, my oldest son, he bought the regular bug out. He's been happy with it. Um, but I have not been happy with the quality um, that Benchmade is putting out in this price range. This knife, I paid 80 bucks for 18 years ago. You can go buy the mini Griptilians now for like 130 to 180, depending on where you get them. This one here cost me 135, all the way up to the $200 world for the bug outs. It's S30V steel, so it's good steel, but it feels cheap. It does not feel like, I mean, it flexes when I do this, whereas this one doesn't. Uh, a month of carrying it and the, the clip is already loose. It's already coming loose. I mean, this clip is thick and heavy duty, but the knife still isn't all that heavy. Now, I don't like massive knives. I don't like the big, big bulky knives. So that gets me on to what it is we're doing here in this video. Why on earth am I even telling you any about this stuff, about this mini Griptilian, about this Benchmade that I'm not happy with? What did somebody send me that might be changing the game for me here? 
this. This is from 3V Gear. It's called the React. It's their everyday carry folding knife. And I have to say, for the money, for the value, I am contemplating putting my Benchmade up and not tightening it, not keep it, because I keep having to do that, and carrying this knife. And I, I, I've unboxed it already. Um, it's just simple. It comes in a really cool carrying case. But I want to show you this knife because I'm actually think it's pretty cool. There's some things I do and don't like about it, and I want to get into those. Um, but it might be dethroning this for a little bit as my everyday carry knife, um, especially depending on the configuration. So let's get into this thing. 3V Gear React Folding Knife. Let's go over some of the specs. You're talking about G10 scales, okay? Uh, this is the naked one. They actually come with a whole slew of different etchings and things that you can get in pictures. I'm gonna show you here all the American flag and a compass and you know, uh, don't tread on me and all the really cool stuff that you can get on the blade. The blade material is 8CR 14 MOV, which is gonna be a high carbon stainless steel. So it's, I mean, for the budget knife, it's still a reasonably good steel that's gonna take a good beating. It has a bitchin razor's edge point on it. Uh, and it, it it is a line locker, so it's not gonna be some of your custom, you know, proprietary locks. It's a standard line locker. Um, ball, stainless steel ball bearing drive, and it has this cool flick. This reminds me of an old Ken Onion Kershaw I used to have that just does this. I have to say it is rock solid. It does not move at all. The clip is much more heavy duty than, than this other one here. I don't typically like line lockers. I'm not a fan. Too many times I've done this and nicked my knuckle. But for the budget knife, it, it this line locker is comfortable. It's the same finish as the rest of the blade. It looks great. It does have the lanyard hole here, kind of the same thing. Now the, the, the G10 scales you can get in two ways. You can get smooth or this grooved part. And I'm gonna go over that in just a little bit here, but that's your basic, basic thing. So if you know anything about any of the, say, Benchmade knives and the size, here's a size comparison on the standard bug out and on the mini bug out. And for an everyday normal knife, I like the smaller platforms because I find they're just more comfortable in my jeans and pants and I, I, mean, I use knives constantly. So this is going to be the, the footprint. It is razor sharp, shave sharp. Once again, a bitchin' razor point. If you've got, you know, splinter or something, I don't know if that's gonna break off easy, but man, it does that. Um, and it's aesthetically pleasing and feels rock solid. Not like a 12 or 20 or even $30 knife you're gonna get at a gas station or kind of the pre-packaged Chinese knives from uh, that you're gonna buy from Cabela's. It is an import knife, but I've gotta say, it feels every bit as robust as my mini griptilian was when i bought it 18 years ago and so i wanted to show you this knife and say i love how razor sharp it is i love the looks and design you can get the scales in three different colors black this blue or like a desert tan once again you can get it grooved or smooth and if you're in the market for a, a reasonably priced knife i'm gonna say take a long hard look at the react by 3v gear which okay which by the way they sent this to me this is something they gave me to check out because I, I i asked them for it and they have been treating me so well thank you 3v gear giovanni over at 3v gear i gotta say i'm i'm eternally grateful for how well you're treating our channel uh you guys are just being awesome and investing in us and so i want to do do that well for you uh, but i also told them i would be giving my honest opinion so here's something i don't like about this number one i already said it i'm not a fan of <laughs> liner locks that's one of them you gotta get your it, it's such an odd way whereas i'm so used to this right here it just folds in on itself but if i'm careful and learn the it, it will perform just fine and it's strong number two um the ball bearings are awesome for opening but as i'm closing there's a decided right here gets kind of hung up point now that's good because you do want it to lock, but it's something you're gonna have to get used to, right there. Um, and number three, I would fully recommend you do not buy, you guys might hate me if three of you for this, but don't buy this grooved, this grooved one. The grip on it is incredible, but 
It is, it will saw it. I can't even, if you can hear this, hold on. The grooved one is going to saw away at your pants and just like every time you pull it out, it's going to keep sawing and sawing and sawing and wear away your pants. Um, if they put a smooth side here and then, you know, just where the, the clip meets, I think that'd be a lot better, but I'm telling you, this is going to, this knife right here would be better put on my pack. Um, so I can just use it that way. But as an everyday carry that I can't, I'm overstating it, but I can't overstate it. This, G10 Groot is like a saw. And the G10 is super durable. I mean, higher dollar knives are what have G10 scales on them. Um, but it, it, I just can't, I just can't. You buy the smooth one, buy the smooth one. Uh, in either black, tan, or this blue. Beautiful, beautiful blue color. I do have to say, um, although a faster video, quicker video here, I, I'm really impressed with this at this price point. And that's what brings us to the price point. 60 bucks, 60 bucks for this knife that I'm going to put on par with my old mini grip Tillion, given that it's an older style stainless. Uh, same thing with this. I, I'm impressed with it. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna maybe talk to them about the diff, getting a knife with a different scale so I can give an update to that. I'm gonna be putting this in my pocket. I'm just really afraid that it's gonna saw through my pants and I, you know, you spend all these money on good demo, denim and I don't want to saw through them. Uh, the only other thing I don't like is placement of the, of the, um, the clip. I like my knives to be upside down like this when I pull them out of my pocket. So, I, but it's just something to get used to it. I mean, most knives are like this. I just have to get used to it. Um, but other than that, you're looking at pretty good quality steel razor, hair popping sharp knife a pretty knife at that it's a cool looking knife it is not chintzy or cheesy looking it's a good simple design uh your the the, the tang here that's used for opening cre cre creates a good stop for your finger heel with good jibbing right here for you know whittling or doing things so i'm going to keep carrying this one around for a while instead of this one of course you can see i like loud colors because i don't want to lose them that's why i picked the blue so i can see it at a distance and I can see it from afar. But I'm gonna be putting this thing through its paces over the next few months. I have to say thank you to 3V Gear for sending me this knife. I'm gonna be wearing this knife. I've worn it for a little bit already. Comes in this really cool magnetic, what they call a display box, you know? Display box, but I don't display my knives, guys. Sorry, I use them. I beat the crap out of them. I open my beers with them and soda pops with them. I open every box I have with them. I'm constantly cutting rope with them and. I use knives for purposes they're not even supposed to be used for. Let's see if this thing can handle me. So 3V Gear React Folding Everyday Carry Knife. Link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. It's gonna go straight to the knife so you can go to their website and take a look at all of the other specs. Uh, and it, it might be dethroning my beloved Benchmates. So go out, click the link below, check out the 3V Gears react folding knife i don't think you'll be sorry i'm pretty impressed for the price range 59 9, 60 bucks and you're gonna get yourself a pretty dang good knife i'm pretty impressed with these knives and i've got to say thank you for watching if this was helpful just put it leave the comments below hey thanks josh we want more of this yes please let us know how the knife performs we're really interested in that and go to their website check them out and see if they are for you as always be blessed and remember just because you're prepared does not mean you're paranoid have an awesome day